wrap up Filipino American History Month this October, we discuss the future of our history here in America. How are we as Filipino Americans creating history today and tomorrow? Joining us for this discussion is Doctora and Profesora Carolino San, uh, Carolina San Juan, a lecturer at the California State University in Dominguez Hills. She's been here before and we're honored she's joining us again. Hello, Profesora. Hi, hi, thanks. Thanks for having me back. Great to see you. Thank you very much. So this is a very exciting topic because yes. Uh, this is the work that you focus on. Yes, uh, I've spent the majority of my academic life looking at uh, Filipino Americans and who we are and what we think and mm -hmm. what others think about us, mm -hmm. how we're perceived, and so this is a big month. This yes. is a big month. And as we know, I mean, we did a, a comprehensive timeline on Kababayan today, starting with, you know, our uh, Kababayans that arrived in right. Louisiana in the 1800s. Yes. So we've been here for a while, right. but how do we continuously make history? Right, right. And then, and that's really where my work is now. Mm -hmm. I mean, I looked at perceptions from when we were little brown brothers, and then we move into where we're military Navy men with uh, nurses for wives. But that was 65, 70, 80. Mm -hmm. And now we're coming onto the 21st century, and we are, we're singers. We're dancers, we're politicians, we're in the media, mm -hmm. right? And so this, this it's a really a new wave as we come into um, third, the third generation Filipino Americans. And so I'm looking specifically at how we're perceived in the media. Um, my doctoral work was in vaudeville, mm -hmm. vaudeville in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. And YouTube is now perceived as the new vaudeville stage because that's where you put your acts, that's right. right? You do your funniest, your best, your kaloko, your lokohan, yeah. <laughs> right? Like funny things. And what I've noticed is there's been um, a trend. And at first, it was kind of um, these spectacles. You remember uh, the prisoners that were dancing to Thriller? Oh, yeah, the ones in the orange In the orange. Costume. And they yeah. were like millions of views. Mm -hmm. So millions of views. And then you get um, Arnel Pineda, and he's, you know, he's, he's got a job. He's an entertainer. He's singing, and all of a sudden, Journey. Oh right? my goodness, that's huge. And then we have Sharice. Pimpenko. Pimpenko. This was discovered on YouTube by David Foster. By David Foster. Huge. Then she went on to Ellen, and then she was on, um, you know, she, she's on network television. She's got this big singing career. And all of that is connected to vaudeville. Mm -hmm. Right, so that's all connected. And so that's modern day vaudeville. Yes, vaudeville, but vaudeville. now on the little screen mm -hmm. on YouTube. But then I discovered there's um, there's there's new entertainment and it's not spectacle, hmm. it's actually Filipino Americans taking control, and creating these skits, these very funny skits about home life and what it's really like to be Filipino, and they use the funny accent and they talk about the hilarious things that occur to them, the misunderstandings, the perceptions. Mm -hmm. So I feel like these entertainers are actually giving millions of viewers all over the world. A, a way to say, oh, that's my experience. I, that happens in my house, or mm -hmm. that's just like my Lola. Yes. Right? And so I think for third generation Filipino Americans, YouTube is um, the new frontier. Right. To say. And, and what's amazing about uh, these online platforms, unlike before, we can now be producers. Yes. We create our stories. Yes. We don't have to hope and pray that, you know, someone in Hollywood right. who possibly and most likely is white, uh, is making those decisions right. and getting for it us. wrong. And getting it wrong, showing right. us as subservient or hypersexualized or um, perverted in some way mm -hmm. or so subservient, like always like the cleaning lady yes. or, or the, you the know, gangster. the Asian dominatrix. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay. Uh, speaking of this new frontier, who in your um, mind represents yeah. All, all encompassing. Who? Right. Well, who I'm, I'm writing. Um, I'm writing some work. I'm doing some research now. Um, I started looking at Mikey Bustos, who's mm -hmm. actually out of Canada, but maybe right. We'll and say, now he's in the Philippines. And now he's back in the Philippines, right? which is very interesting. And he's doing a lot of work over a there. A lot of work in mm -hmm. the Philippines, and his YouTube channel has just taken off. Mm -hmm. But here in the U.S., um, A.J. Raphael comes from this tradition of singers, mm -hmm. but now he's doing these hilarious skits, right? Um, and then, but probably my most, um, my closest analysis mm -hmm. is um, Happy Slip, Christine Gambito. Happy Slip, okay. Yeah. I've watched these videos. 
Mga kababayan, if you haven't seen Christine Gambito's videos, you're probably living under a rock <laughs> or you don't have internet or don't right. access it. But this woman has gotten millions and yes. millions of hits. Yes. And every single video she makes, I am on the floor laughing, yes. going, Totoo yan! Totoo yan! Yes, yes. And she's, um, you know, the Philippine uh, Department of Tourism has asked her back to the Philippines. She's a representative. So she's really on multiple platforms now. Mm -hmm. I've seen her at festivals. She's done interviews. And I really like looking at uh, Christine Gambito's work. Yes. Because it's, it's home life, right? Yes. But it's also very visible. Okay, well, speaking of her, let's watch this. Shh! Where chinelas like me, the floor is dirty. Hey, don't put your face there, it's dirty naman! Nako, don't lie down on that, they don't wash that cover, you know? Hoy, time to wake up, continental breakfast, continental... Oh, all you can eat, come on, it's free! Time to go, time to go! Let's get some extra trash bag. Oh, don't forget that. Come on!